Now, it's the ex-boyfriend's turn. Sonny Balwani, Elizabeth Holmes, former lover and business partner, had a, at his fraud trial starting today. Balwani was second in command at Theranos. That's the now defunct blood testing company. In 2009, Balwani says he loaned Theranos millions of dollars. Soon after, he was named president and chief operating officer of the company. At her own trial, Elizabeth Holmes accused Balwani of sexual abuse when she took the stand in her own defense. Balwani has denied the allegations. Now he's facing the same original charges that Holmes did. Ten counts of wire fraud, two counts of conspiracy to commit wire fraud. In January, a jury convicted Elizabeth Holmes on several of those charges. Now it's Balwani's turn in court. CNBC's Scott Cohn covering the case from the courthouse in San Jose. He's barely been seen, hardly heard from since the whole story began. Now Sonny Balwani gets his day in court. You looking forward to finally being able to tell your story, Mr. Balwani? At Elizabeth Holmes' trial, prosecutors downplayed Balwani's role. A different approach now from Assistant U.S. Attorney Robert Leach, telling jurors Mr. Balwani and Ms. Holmes were partners in virtually everything, in business, in love, and in crime, lying to investors and patients about Theranos blood tests. Technology. In his nearly hour long opening statement, Leach repeatedly showed pictures of Holmes, saying her name at least as often as the man on trial. But defense attorney Stephen Kazaris said Balwani truly believed in the company, never intentionally deceived anyone, even invested $5 million of his own money, and never sold a single share of stock. Elizabeth Holmes built the company, not Balwani, he said. The headlines and the sensational stories about Elizabeth Holmes have no place in this trial. If Elizabeth Holmes threw her ex-boyfriend under the bus, Sonny Balwani may be about to return the favor. Could Elizabeth Holmes uh, try and get the last word by testifying against Sonny Balwani? Might help her when she comes back to this courthouse for her sentencing this fall. But it is unlikely, almost unheard of, and it would be a risky move for the government. Then again, Shep, one thing this saga has not been short on is surprises.